It's also late bedtime, so this is what we're doing. Okay, guys. All right. Um, I will start, Chris, if that's okay. Uh, just by, first of all, thank you guys for being here. You know I love to see you guys here supporting us um, and giving us some coverage. Thank you. Um, really proud of my team. It was a gritty win. Another one, three in a row. So, so many mistakes um, that we're going to learn from, but we're going to learn from them with another win in the, in the win column. And at the end of the day, the plays that we needed to make down the stretch, we made. The shots that we needed to make, we made. The free throws, we made. Um, and then we got, you know, pretty, pretty great defensive stop there at the end that I thought was much better than the last two games. So tons of things that I thought we did really well, tons of opportunities for growth, um, and, a, and a home court win makes it a great night. We'll take questions for players, and then after that, we'll open up the floor for Coach Rock questions. Um, no, you can come. Sorry. Uh, Jordan, you had two, two assists away from a triple-double tonight. You contributed in a lot of different ways. What were you just able to see throughout the entire uh, game just to make it just a very versatile performance? Sorry. Um, honestly, I think this is like what I do night in, night out. I try to put my teammates in the best position to be successful. I think as a point guard, that is my job. And it just kind of comes, comes natural. I know what my teammates are capable of. I know what they like to do. And that's by us just building relationships with each other, practicing with each other every day. So um, yeah, I just want to put them in the best position to be successful. and. That's gonna happen. I know they're gonna knock the shots down. So, yeah, Jo, how did it feel getting your first uh, double double with Vanderbilt tonight? <laughs> uh, it felt good. Um, Coach puts a lot of confidence in me, and just working every day. And I knew she told me yesterday that at some point it's gonna come. So I just knew it was gonna come eventually. And so she has a lot of confidence in me. She believes in me. So. <laughs> yeah. What has it been like for you coming to Vanderbilt so far? Uh, you know, as a transfer. Oh, it's great. It's everything I expected. It's everything I loved. They pushed me to work harder. They pushed me to be a better person on the court, off the court. And I feel like I'm actually growing as a human being here. Uh, for either of you, you know, what, what did you see from, from Aga's performance tonight? I can speak a little bit on that. I actually uh, I talked to her after the game. I was super, first, I was super proud of her. Um, she had some really big shots for us. And, but all of us, everyone up here, Everyone on the team, we know what Aga's capable of. We know she's a phenomenal shooter. And we know down the stretch she's going to do what we need her to do. And she really showed that today. Um, she was really huge for us. And without her, it might not have been the same outcome. So I'm super proud of our freshmen for stepping up, um, getting those shots down the road, and sticking with it. Any more questions for players? All right. Yeah, I think Joe's got five. All right. You want to go, Micah? You want to come? You want to go, Micah? Go ahead. See you later. That's why she really came in here. <laughs> Hang out with Micah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Yeah, she changed it. That was not what she was wearing this morning when I left the house. So that's grandma for you. <laughs> hey, we'll go ahead and open up the floor for questions. Coach Ralph? Oh yeah, Coach Ralph, this kind of had the same feel as the last game did. Um, you guys were up by a point in, in two clutch free throws tonight by um, Aga in the last game, but they were by Sasha. So well, maybe just a little bit too close to be comfortable at the end. What would you like to change going into the next game so you don't have to worry as much maybe towards the end? Uh, it's a great question. I think for us, it's looking for consistency. And it's really, it, it, that is, it's as simple as that. Consistency on defense, consistency on offense, consistency from the production that we're getting from the players that come into the game, um, and knowing day in and day out what we're going to do without making so many mistakes kind of snowballed on top of each other. So it's also the same uh, when you look at, hey, we were ahead by seven, eight. Our largest lead was 11, it looks like. And still, it was a one possession game at the end. I just I want us to learn what it feels like to have a killer instinct, to put our foot on their necks so that, you know, we're win by 25 and not by three. And that's where we're going to grow, hopefully. That's what we're going to work on. Um, but, you know, and that's important to acknowledge, but it's also important for my team to know that I'm going to celebrate their victories. You know, so, yeah, like I, I looked at the end of that game, and I, I mean, I'm sweating more than I sweat when I'm playing. I'm like, how is this possible, the third game in a row? But... <laughs> 
But we did what we had to do to win the game. And to me, that that's so valuable because when you get into February and March, and I mean, I've, I've done this long enough and I think we went to like 12 straight Final Fours or something and hopefully that will be what we do here at Vanderbilt. It's not X's and O's, y'all. It's not every coach is really, really good at that. You need the players that have the confidence, competitiveness, will and desire to want to win in those moments, to want to make those plays to win. That's, that's grit and you can't coach that. So what I've learned from the last three games is that my team has it. The other stuff, we can work with. But we have that, and that is so valuable. And I'm really, really, really excited about that because I don't know that we've had it from soup to nuts on this team since I've been here. So it's exciting to work with and knowing that tomorrow we're going to be so much better because of what we just went through and, and how we came out victorious. You were disappointed with the rebounding in the first game against Kennesaw State. You know, today it was – a, a huge disparity in your favor rebounding wise what was better about this performance than that first one I mean I wish I could tell you we did these fabulous drills and all these things and it's rebounding's effort heart it's the things that we talked about we have we have to make it can't just be Sasha we have to make an effort and Sasha is an incredible rebounder um, but J.O. knows and I say on her all the time I would like for her to dribble less and rebound more you know, like she, she has such an advantage because she's so athletic and quick and she's got to use that, especially as we move forward into the conference against people that are a little bigger than her. She'll be able to get around them and get off her feet quicker to get those rebounds. And I expect that from her. I expect it from Justine and Aga because even though they're not as athletic, they are huge and they have to go in there and put their hands up. And like if they just do that, three of them will fall into their hands. You know, it's important for them to understand just making the effort and getting into the mix will help our team come out with, you know, 20 point edge rebounding against a team we should out rebound. But when we go up against teams that are bigger because we've created that habit, now we're going to be, you know, really difficult to keep off the boards. And that's important when you're trying to win games in our conference. So it should look like this in the rebounding margin when we play teams that are a little bit smaller um, and don't have as much depth and size as we do and versatility. Yeah, what did you see from Aga tonight? It's funny. Uh, it was a good question you asked Jordan because um, Aga reminds me. I, I, I coached her sister. She reminds me a lot of her sister, but she has uh, – she <laughs> she's the youngest. She has, like, this fire inside of her. She re reminds me a lot of myself, actually. Um, I didn't put her in in the first half until the very end, and then she just exploded in the second half. And, um, and I think – what you saw Aga today isn't anything different than what we see in practice every day, but she gets so in, into her head about missing shots. And the hugest moment today for Aga was when she missed the wide open three, and then she took the exact same three the next possession, and she made it, and it was a huge shot for us. That's huge because now a month ago she would have missed the next ten, and then she would have been in tears on the sideline and then in tears for the rest of the night because she thinks that every one of her shots should go in. Okay? But – but what you saw is a competitor, and I think that's what Maddie Green is too. And over the course of the last three games, that's what we're finding out about them. So now what I, what I told them is when, when you – and Aga practices that way. So one of the things I said um, in there was like I told her, and I gave her you know, props for what she did, and I said, you know, I didn't play you the first half. You could have tanked it. And, uh, and one of my staff members, my husband, said well, she wasn't going to tank it because she never tanks it in practice, mm -hmm. and it's true. And that's why you trust players in big moments like that. Because if, they, if you know how they practice, and that's, you know that's how they're going to play. And, um, and Maddie Green and Aga practice that way every day, which is why you saw them in there in the end of the game. I want to talk about another person who, who performed pretty well down the stretch. Ayanna Moore came off the 25 and then had an 0 for going into the fourth quarter, hit that huge three, and then hit those two free throws down the stretch. Uh, how did you keep her positive and motivated with this struggle type of performance? I mean, I think you just – when you have players like Ayana, you, you, you want them to feel like their, their favorite shot is their next one, <laughs> you know? And, and so she, I asked her if she needed a sub because she's one that won't ask. Her and Jordan Cambridge won't ask. But they both have tells. So Ayana's eyes get this big. So I was like, you need a sub? She goes, I'm good. I just can't make a shot. She mouthed it to me on the free throw line. I said, it doesn't matter. You'll get another one, and it'll go in. Just keep playing. Play some defense, get a breakaway layup. It doesn't matter if you don't make a shot. We need you on the floor. Are you good? 
She's like, I'm good. Great. She just needs to know that I trust her. And that's what they all need to know. It's like J.O. It's like Jordan. It's like the kids that are struggling right now that are coming in and out of the game. They need to know that I trust them. But you have to earn that. I don't just give you my trust. And so that's why practice is so important. And now we've had four games in 10 days. So we haven't had a lot of time to practice. Um, and I'm really, really, really excited to get back to practice with my team so that we can learn and we can grow. And, and we need more players to earn that trust so that we can get some more people into the game. Jordan can't, doesn't have to play 40 minutes. You know, Ayanna doesn't have to play 40 minutes. But when they come into the game, we know what we're going to get. And they know I'm not going to put them in there unless I know what I'm going to get. Yes. Last couple of questions. Seeing three players get double doubles tonight with Jordan, Jo, and um, Sasha, you know how big is that to get? And, and this was the third straight one for Sasha. I mean, I think it's great to look on the the stat sheet and see that, you know. And how big is it if you look at the team? And I loved my team last year. We didn't have numbers, we didn't have depth, and we needed players to get forty for us to have a chance to win. So now I think the beauty of having a, a, a deeper team with more versatility is that that pressure doesn't exist as much. We just need you to show up and do your job. And the moment may present itself to you like it did to J.O. today, like it did to Aga today. And you just need to be ready for that moment. It may be you, just like it was Ayana last game. But it doesn't have to be Ayana Moore every game for us to win. And that's what I want my team to understand is, is beautiful about playing for a great team. A great team has usually more than one great player. And the other thing about great teams is, um, you know who they give all the awards to? The teams that win. You want to play on a great team. You want to play with great teammates. They make you better. They push you every day in practice. And then all you focus on is winning. All the other stuff comes with that. Um, and I think what my team is starting to understand is that we can be great. Congratulations on the win. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Great to see you all, as usual.